Oh my, why is her hair short? Is this a, um, a flashback or something? That'd be like a flashback or something. Oh my god, bro. She is going crazy trying to do these glyphs. They're really friends, bro. King can't believe it. He like, Hootie got a friend, bro? Oh, let's go. Bro, that's cr- Bro, is this not crazy to think about? Freaking Luz became the teacher of Ida before Ida even really taught her anything, bro. Like, that's kind of wild, bro. Ida should have been taught her way more before this even happened, bro. Like, that's kind of wild. Nah, she getting nice. She getting real nice with it. There's no such thing as a king of demons. Tough. Just killed his entire thing, bro. Just killed his entire thing. King of demons. That was supposed to be him? That is not him, bro. I wonder if that's actually true. I kind of feel like it's not true. How convenient. A hole in your memory for each hole in your story. <laughs> oh, nah, nah, nah. I gotta believe King, bro. Don't do my dude like that. I'm about to get a, uh... I know y'all said this is King's real head, bro, but I'm about to get, like, a little mask and put it on my dog, bro, and call him King. Oh, dang, Luz don't even believe in it. Watch it be true, though. Let's do it. I feel like he's gonna show them something that's gonna make it like true. We'll see though. What the? F he can do that? I thought he was stuck there. Yeah. <laughs> Off to my real castle. Don't wait up. Love your favorite demon overlord. She knows it's something bad. A freaking bathtub, bro. Ooh, her um, what's that called? Ta talisman? Talisman? Whatever. Hers is, uh, if it is on top of her staff, like her, um, like Ida's is. Hers is cool looking, bro. I don't know what that is, but that was like really dope, bro. So this is where he was king, apparently. I'm not sure if I believe it all the way yet, but. So she's never heard of this place at all for some reason. Maybe he's not lying, though. I don't know. I have a feeling like it's going to be right because they're so like hell bent on him being wrong or him lying. I feel like it's going to be true for some reason. Or they're they're at least gonna discover something, bro. Watch it, nah. Watch it be that one dude, bro. The dude with the mask. Don't know why he would be there, but I have a feeling it might be him. Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. That looks like King. he may actually have been the King of Demons. Ah, let's go. He was telling the truth. It's hard to believe him because how he acts, though. Oh, look at Hootie. Nah, Hootie, take that somewhere else, bro. Take that somewhere else, bro. Rule number one. Do not go alone, bro. And she broke rule number one. Luz couldn't be in a horror movie. Are those like things hanging upside down? Okay, that's most definitely is not the dude with the mask. That most definitely is not him. There's no way. That's him fighting like another. That's the all oh, the thing that's chasing them. I don't even. I wouldn't even want to fight, bro. I'd just be dancing. What is that thing, bro? Hey, it's Ida. She got potions and stuff, bro. So she knows about this place then. Oh, hold on. Real quick, I know you guys might skew. If you just watch the show and start pausing, you find out. I don't give a fuck. All right. Anyways, what if she's been to this place because this is where she got King from, so she knows about it, you know? So King's story might actually add up. What the heck? Oh, I can't leave. You're not. This is my castle. Oh, that's tough. Don't know the truth. What's the truth? So she knows then. Time for me to tell you how we really met. Oh shit! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me sit up for this. Oh, this is what we were singing in the beginning. I don't like her hair here, bro. I don't like this hair. Oh, little baby kid. <laughs> Oh my god, like a little baby king. No way. Uh, and something must have happened for his uh for his little horn to get chipped. What the heck? Oh, that's the chip. Yep. So he keeps trying to build like these all those subjects. Those must have been his subjects then, I guess. Oh finally happy. So I kept playing. She gave him his backstory. Dang, bro. So his whole backstory is made up by Ida. My, my army was just rocks and flies, bro. Oh my god. No, I don't. 
can't see. I hate when people who don't get sad or who are always happy get sad because they make like like that's the worst, bro. When people who are just always happy, you see them either mad or sad. It's like the worst feeling ever, bro. We gotta find him, bro. We gotta make this right. Y'all ain't gonna do my boy King like that. Dang, so Eden made up his entire backstory. Like, not on purpose, but like, you know? Maybe, right? And then also the the um the little the pictures on the wall. That looks like King. You know what I'm saying? A bigger version of King, like uh what he says, but it looks like King. So I don't know. Boop. Mm. No more secrets, so Let's go, man. OSC going crazy this sure episode, though. Right. Let's go, Hootie. Hootie low-key OP, bro. What are we going to see? Nothing here. What? There's a door, though. There's a door. Come on, show me something good. Show me something real cool, bro. Luce is right. This is where he fell from. And the reason why they got the door open because he was able to open it. And he probably hatched from that egg that we're seeing. You sure? Ready for what? Oh, that that piece. Oh, fetus king. And that thing was just there to protect him. I think it was my dad. Oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That's his pops. So maybe, yeah, pops put all this in place to protect King, cause he had to go somewhere or do something, or he knew he was gonna die or something. Okay, okay. You're the prince of demons. Did you help me? I'd do anything for you, buddy. Oh, let's go. It's too bad John oh, he's getting his little horn back. John Luke. John Luke, that's what we calling him. So I wonder how important this backstory of Kings is to the story. Come on, come on. That deserves a round of. That is a great episode, bro. That is a great episode. I wonder how much of the episode. Or how much of what we just saw relates to the like the real story or if it's just a side piece i feel like they don't do side stories in these types of shows though this is an anime they don't do side stories so i would guess this is going to come back full circle into the main story somehow don't know but um i'm glad i like the episode bro we finally got some king backstory so like what he was saying was somewhat true you know like it, it had some truth to it he wasn't lying he just just like uh he just said he just didn't know bro and then obviously Ida didn't know either, bro. Um, I don't know about that horn thing though. I'm not so sure about that. Like just him having that horn brought his memories back. I don't know. Maybe that means King is magical in some way, and having that horn reconnected. I, you know, you get what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I don't know, bro. That part was a little weird to me. But um, either way, I'll give that episode like a nine out of ten or something, bro. That one's uh, pretty good. Uh oh. We start, bro. Are all the episodes about to be some lore, bro? Come on, they better be. Oh my god, that's mad creepy. Oh, it's Mama, Mama Ida, Mama Ida, Papa Ida, or Lilith, whatever. But we we going with Ida, bro. Look, okay. That's our pops. All right, all right. You were in the healing coven, not the bauble brigade. No, I don't think that's her pops. Yeah, that's not her pops. I want that thing out. My daughter is suffering because of my other daughter. Don't even know that. That's crazy. Uh, I be, I just want to fight Lilith, bro. Oh, that's the door, isn't it? She just found it? Bro, I wonder if... Bro. You know what this makes me think of? I wonder if Ma Dukes knows that it was her other daughter bro because i know obviously Ida just found out not too long ago so like if she's still alive are they gonna have that conversation i wonder how she's gonna feel because it seems like she probably spent a lot of her years trying to heal uh Ida of her curse just to find out that her daughter did like that would be crazy bro we need to have that conversation like on on screen bro i want to see that look at her come on the gold tooth like who, who else you know doing that it's my kind of woman, bro. Ugh. Ooh, look, rip the. Uh. Come on, bro. This little thing pulling that off. Oh, what? Oh, I forgot they split the curse. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I was about to be like, what the hell? Hmm. Hmm. That was horrible. Hmm. Yeah. All because you wanted to make it into a freaking coven, bro. That's insane. Hide from who? Probably me. 
Her, I was about to say her mom. It's gotta be her mom. It is. Let's go. So we're probably gonna have that conversation I was talking about. Let's go. Ida must be her favorite or something. See, see. I can't wait for this episode because like. She, you can tell she spent all ever since she got that curse, bro. She has spent all of her waking moments trying to cure it for her. I cannot wait to see how she's going to react when she finds out that Lilith is the one who did it, bro. She doesn't want to talk to her. There's a lot to break down there. there hold on, bro. There's a lot to break down. You can tell that uh, Lilith doesn't get visited as much, so like she feels some type of way about it. But at the same time, the reason why she gets visits from her all the time is because of what you did so like you shouldn't even be feeling like oh um Ida's my favorite or whatever the only reason why she shows Ida as so much attention is because she needs to show her that much attention because of the freaking curse that you put on her so I feel like she definitely feels some type of way about it but it's not I don't think her mom is doing it in like a malicious sense it's just like it's my daughter that I want to make sure she's safe bro yes, is her with her palisman a vulture and where's her pops at, bro? My pupil. Oh, so she does healing magic then. Yes, bro. Very dedicated. She wants to heal her so bad. That sounds dangerous. I wonder why Eden and her are like beefing though. I guess it's one-sided beef, but like why does she not want to be healed by her? Who didn't even stick around to watch you Hey, she needs to chill out, bro. Nah, she needs to chill out, bro. Lila gotta chill, bro. This is this is y'all favorite right now, bro. She gotta chill, bro. She is wildin'. Anyway, she feeling some type of way because of her, bro. You're not getting the time of day because you cursed her, and now all her time is going to that, bro. You just so goofy, story, bro, and gullible. Knife season came early this year. She stay ready though. She stay ready, but that's not what she wants, and I don't know why. Okay, that's kind of crazy. She wasn't at her coven initiation. I understand, like, again, it's probably, like, you know, the healing Ida stuff, but that's still wild. Like, she deserves some type of attention. Because as far as her mom knows, she didn't do this, so. Oh, my goodness. No, you wouldn't. Why do shows always try to try to relate ice cream to alcohol, bro? They always do that. They try to make it seem like when you eat a lot of ice cream, it gives the same effect as, like, alcohol. Oh, dang. Where did the elixirs go? Dang, why are they doing her like this, bro? What? Nah, bro. Is she stupid? Bro, she is getting taken advantage of, bro. Bro, that's insane, bro. Yeah, I understand. She's just blinded. She's definitely blinded by the fact that, like, she really just wants to cure Ida. But, like, you are goofy for this one, bro. Like, like there's no way. Like, there's no way a teenage little girl could figure out in like five seconds flat that you're being scammed and you can't bro oh she took them all that's where the elixirs went wow oh my god bro they both just switched like quick are they gonna see each other in there since they share the curse now stop reading that stupid book bro oh they're gonna see each other you think they're gonna fight oh hers looks Hers looks scarier. Oh, her mom didn't even know she had the curse. Now she's trying to process the fact that, like, her. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. It was a little dude the whole time, bro. Nah, that's crazy, bro. Every beast in the forest will be after your head. Let's go, finally. Finally, she turned up. Let's go. But now she's processing the fact that like her her teacher was a fake and both of your daughters are cursed, bro. She's probably going to uh, come back and show up here now, but she had to take care of that first. What the? Who drew that? Was it her? Oh, yeah. She does art. Now, that was really good. Oh, they can hear her. Oh. Yeah, I can see why she would think that because she was the whole time. She was just trying to get rid of it and... Yeah, I can see that. No way. No way. Am I seeing that whole time this curse was just a mental curse? Like her mom could have healed her the whole time, not by learning healing magic, but by like talking to her about it. 
That's kind of that's kind of cold, bro. Hold on, that's kind of crazy. But I didn't give you the attention you deserved. Yeah, she finally figured it out. So I wonder if that means they're gonna be able to like control this curse now. Or is it gone? It looks like it left. Check their eyes. Check their eyes. Check their eyes. Oh no. So is the curse still there? It may be King's realizing maybe that's what happened with him too. His dad was just trying to do his best. We don't know though. Tell her. Is she not gonna find out? Lil is the one who did it. No, Lil is leaving. You lived here. You said you lived here. Told me how she gave you the curse. Oh, she told her. Look, maybe this is just the 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 the, the drama in me, right? I wanted to see that on camera, and I wanted to see that before all this stuff happened. I wanted to see her mom's like real raw reaction to knowing that this whole time I've spent all this time trying to cure her all these years. I don't know how many years, but all these years. And it was you who did it. I, I wanted to see that, bro. I'm not going to lie, but it is what it is. And reconnect with dad. Oh, so dad is in the picture. Okay. But you're not the only human to have lived in Bonesboro. Huh? There's a extremely what? And sweet. So who, where's the human? Okay, so this is a long time ago then. Oh, that's crazy. All right, so she wasn't the first human. Nah, if camp's already over, she probably thinks, oh, that's tough. Thank you, Luz. You always know what to do. What the f- No, that's crazy. Uh, I was just about to say, I was just about to say, bro, if if it ended right now, that means she probably thinks that she's missing or whatever, right? And that's why I thought she was crying, bro. No. Nah. Remember when she was getting uh getting those letters wrote to her? Who the hell Who could that be, bro? Who could that be? Cuz obviously somebody was writing her letters and now somebody It has to be Here's the thing. I I my initial thought would be uh I forgot his name, the emperor or whatever, right? I would think the emperor, but those letters were being sent way before they even like talked to the emperor before he was even a thing. So why would it be him, you know? I don't know, bro. I have I literally have nothing, bro. I'm trying to think I have nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, if you made it this far, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh this this shit getting good, y'all. This shit getting really good. Really, really good. Really, really good. Our house, 8 out of 10 already? 8 out of 10 so far, I think? Yeah. All right, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.